The one thing about Dairy Printers to, that hasn't changed, that's a weird bit of lightning that just hit this up my house, is I can go, I can use cigarettes, and they will pass the time. And the cigarettes apparently only do an hour. Dang. I need longer than that. That's unfortunate. I thought they would last a lot longer, so if those only last an hour... Freak. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, hello my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back. Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise. Last time... We met the preacher. We met the mirror. We met... Some crazy lady who is Lisa's mother, apparently. But today... Maybe... We will go fell ten maidens. With voodoo. Sorry for the wait, Patty. I'll go to chicken dance for a second. Whatever. Is Mrs. Carpenter here? No, she hasn't come in today. Everything's going according to plan. It's time to knock down the ten maidens, Zack. What am I gonna accomplish by knocking down ten maidens? Oh my lord, y'all are back? Listen up, y'all ain't gonna believe this. What's wrong? Mrs. Carpenter hasn't come in. For the first time in 10 years, what could it be? I just hoping nothing bad happened to her. She's fine. You have my guarantee. Oh, my Lord. I reckon if an FBI agent like you is convinced, then I should be too. Yeah. What did I tell you, Patty? Value is a relative thing. We needed to find that figurine, no matter the cost. And it worked. Let's go. Oh, okay. You really wanted to bowl that bad? Yes. They don't have bowling alleys in the city no more? More? Wrong, Patty. I have absolutely no interest in bowling. Tossing a heavy ball at lined up pins? Where's the fun in that? You can't even call this a sport. It's a game for cavemen. Wait. Nonsense. Utter nonsense. Then can I throw the ball instead? Absolutely not, Patty. This is part of the investigation. <laughs> I need to do this myself, no matter how stupid it may be. You're the one who's stupid. Sure looks like you're having fun to me. Get a str- oh, freak. What is this? Oh, freak. Oh. I mean, I don't think I have a choice. That's not gonna be it. Ten. All right, I'm gonna go ten pounds. I'm gonna go to the left. I'm gonna aim to the right a little bit. We're gonna throw a relatively strong ball and with the left curve. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, that was perfect. We're doing it again. Ooh, that's that's a failure. The ball did not spin harder than I thought it was. Ooh. Are you how? Like Oh, 
Like, this game... ...is not consistent. Like, if I just throw a 16-pound ball, just as hard as I can, right down the middle, it should just work. But it won't. And it doesn't make sense to me. So... Oh, that's just awful. Whirlpool! This is bizarre. Oh, that's bad. I thought it was the fall over just because I knew it didn't have a chance. All right, straight down the middle. I'm gonna miss one again. I don't. Ah, oh, that's not gonna be that good. What the freak? I don't understand this game. Oh, 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 looks like I finally earned myself a rival. That was just a stroke of luck, Mrs. Carpenter. Despite how I may seem, I've never been any good at any of the ball-based sports that exist here on our planet. What? Oh, no. You can't fool me. I can tell the FBI's giving you very special training. If I gave you a few lessons on top of that, I'm sure you'd be able to go semi-pro. Semi-pro? That's right. That's what I said. <laughs> Not pro, but semi-pro. Yes, semi-pro. <laughs> you'd never be able to go pro. You don't have what it takes. Wow. You could become a semi-pro if you tried really hard. Tell though. me how you feel, really feel. Well, I guarantee it. Come back and see me when you feel like giving. I'm sure my husband would forgive me if I let someone like you borrow my lane. That's... That's an innuendo. Well, we gotta give youngsters a chance to grow. That's what we always say. <laughs> I need to get my mind out of the gutter. I could actually go semi-pro? I'd take her words with a grain of salt if I were you. Patricia, I can understand why you'd be envious of my talents. But you don't need to worry. You have your own unique talents, just like any other person. You shouldn't have to feel inferior every time you look at me. You're unbelievable. Are you sure you don't need to get your head checked out? It's so strange, Zack. I feel like I'm discovering a new side to myself. By the way, Mr. Special Agent, you said you're investigating the Lee Clarkson incident, yes? In that case, yeah, yes. there's something you should know. Oh, what's that? That poor girl, Lise, she was a druggie. And she was into the really bad stuff. Like Sandra? Red powder. Oh, no wonder the FBI picked you. You already figured out that much. <laughs> yep. Well, the reason Lise turned into such a little hoodlum is because of her mother, Galena. Galena. Mm-hmm. A mother only in name. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, she's still nothing more than a child herself. Fair. Oh, dressing up in fancy clothes, always out on the town somewhere. Children giving birth to children. If these aren't the end times, well, I don't know what is. That's still relative today. Oh, and they were always cooped up in that jazz bar. Galena wouldn't know proper parenting if it hit her in the tush. Oh. Zach, the jazz bar. 
We first heard about it from Patricia. It must be deeply connected with this case and the red powder. It must be San Rouge. Following the Oracle and felling the Ten Maidens sure paid off, didn't it? So, Mr. Special Agent, are you all finished here? Yes, Mrs. Carpenter. Thanks to you, I've gotten a new lead. Oh, then how about you mosey on and let me get back to my bowling? I need to bowl my first game of the day or else I'm gonna get rusty. You're not gonna get rusty for not bowling for 12 hours. Well, what are you waiting for? Get a move on! Shoo! Shoo! Uh. Bowling has been unlocked. I never want to see it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hoongan. Hunnigan? When the sun awakens, catch the tip of the baby bear's tail at the false altar. Oh, and no. the entrance to the other world will reveal itself to you. Zack, it's another oracle. It appears that we're being guided by a mysterious power. This oracle is a simple one. The false altar. You already know what this is, right? The place where Lise Clarkson's body was first discovered. Right. She was found under a bridge at some sort of altar as if she was being worshipped. That's what Chef David said, right? Yeah. Which when the sun there? awakens, refers to dawn, of course, and the tip of the baby bear's tail is the North Star. Okay, so you don't need me here. At dawn. Look straight to the north from where Lisa's body was found. On the surface, this oracle may seem tricky and convoluted, but it's still mere child's play. I mean, it's probably the easiest one. Pathetic. Done. Zach, let's follow the oracle and head to where Lisa's body was found. I don't know what other world refers to but I'm sure we'll find out once we get there Oracle that's right Patty this case is a rather complicated one yeah so Zach and I are following oracles given to us by a skeletal gentleman in order to crack it that's the correct response Patty I just can't go to the, the well, I probably could just go to the jazz bar. Because I am not just going to go straight to freaking bed for another 12 hours. Because that's just irrelevant. Actually, like, it's like 20 hours, isn't it? Uh, this is Lucari Tiger. Do you read me? Over. What the heck? Lucari Tiger to DC Eagle. Do you copy? It's Daddy. Hurry up and answer. This is DC Eagle. I read you loud and clear. Over. Oh, good. Mr. York. I'm sure glad you picked up. There's no point in using code names if he's just going to say my real name. Right? DC Eagle to Lucare Tiger. Is something wrong? Over. Uh, Mr. York, I got something I need to tell you ASAP. Just sit tight and listen, okay? Over. Roger Wilco, go right ahead. I just happened to overhear some of the Clarksons talking on another channel. Apparently, Lisa's mother's been missing since early this morning. I reckon it might be related to the case, so I wanted to let you in on it right away. Oh, over. Uh. Lisa's mother. You're referring to Galena, the social butterfly? Over. <laughs> Another special agent slam dunk. So, you already did a little research on her, huh? That's right. The 
one who's gone missing is the younger of the Clarkson sisters, and our town's queen of the night. So she's a prostitute? No one can slip one past me, because I'm the ultimate FBI agent, Francis York Morgan! <laughs> My proverbial hat goes off to your investigative skills, sir. Anywho, Galena used to be an actress, and she's also real pretty in the face. Draws attention wherever she goes. If you happen to spot her while you're investigating, would you let me know? Oh, yeah. Over. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Hey, Mr. York, what do you say we cut this out, huh? Over this, over that. It all seems kind of overblown. Don't you think? Size. I reckon we're the only ones listening to this. No need to be so stiff, <laughs> right? Yes, Melvin, I agree. There's no need for us to cling to formalities. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I ain't never been too good with formalities, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. Well, Mr. York, if I hear any more news, I'll be sure to let you know. Good luck out there. Daddy's such a goofball. <laughs> Patty, do you think Galena is really as beautiful as people say? I don't know. I guess. Yeah. Men just seem to like women like her for some reason. Who's more beautiful? Galena or your mother? What? Candy Woods. Your mother. Melvin said she was the prettiest girl in town. How should I know? That's a stupid question. What? Why is it stupid? My mom is sick. Zach, that was a bad move. We stepped right into a private matter without any shoes on. But these things are bound to happen. After all, I'm a special agent of the FBI. And there isn't an organization out there that's more well-versed in the art of infringing on people's privacy. Wrecked. But... She... He, she's got a point? Or no, he's got a point. Like... Normally... Um... I'll tell you that until five. That's unfortunate. But... I mean, if, as a kid, if you ask someone who's pretty, your mother or somebody else, the kid would normally go, my mother. And Patty didn't do that for some reason. you doing all right so we have like 12 hours which is always fun okay finally we get this cutscene it's a red squirrel Who might you be? I'm Raven, but around here they call me the Speed Witch. Raven Yahoo. You're here investigating the lease case, yeah? And instead of a car, you're using a skateboard? For real? You've already become the talk of the town, you know? Anyway, I was just wondering if you needed any help. What's your name? I'm FBI yeah, Special, Special Agent, Agent Francis, Francis York Morgan. Morgan. Please, Please call, call me York. Okay, Yorkie it is. I'm actually testing out a new kind of business right now. And I was hoping you'd be down to try it out, Yorkie. What kind of business are we talking about here? I drive my customers to wherever they want to go, and once we get there, they pay me. Now that I think about it, I reckon it ain't much different from a taxi. Seems a bit strange to call it a new type of business, then. Because you haven't heard the details yet. Here, let me explain. Okay, let's hold up. I got Over. a feeling that in the future, cell phones are gonna get more advanced. 
And people are gonna be able to just order taxis from their phones whenever they need to get somewhere. So I'm thinking, hey, why don't I just start a company that instantly sends out drivers to take folks from point A to point B? How? I want to make it so that anyone out there can just register on my site as a driver. I'm talking normal people, not pros. Then once we get a request, we'll just send out the driver who's closest to the customer. It'll be a hell of a lot more convenient than public transportation, and faster than any normal taxi company. I'm positive it'll be a big hit. And I'm gonna call it Wyvern. The logo will be a Y and a V. Cool, yeah? Is that legal? Beats me. But if I hire them all as independent contractors, I reckon it'll work out. See, that means each driver and customer will be bound by their own private agreements. My company will just provide them with a platform to hook up. Squeaky clean, right? Now, here comes the fun part. I want to help you get around while you're in our town, Yorkie. For a fee, of course. Keep an eye out for my balloons. Whenever you see one in town, give me a whistle and I'll be there. Why not invite me to use your site, then? Why are you out here driving around? I'm still experimenting with this business model. My site isn't open yet, and I'm still trying to figure out what sort of fees will work best. So I decided to go find myself a customer to get a feel for how things will really go. Well, wanna ride? Zach, that was quite the spiel, wasn't it? It seems like little more than a scheme to make some pocket change from carpooling. And what's new about that? Although it will be a bit hard for us to keep investigating here for days with nothing but a skateboard. What do you think? Should we accept her offer? Sure, why not? I think that's what I'm talking about. Come on, get in, get in. The problem is I can only go to four places, and I don't want to go any of those. Oh, that's the big thing. I just want it unlocked. You can use the transportation disk to visit secret hotspots. If you don't want to ride with me, I but if you ever change your mind, just get- Sure thing. Why burn the new Cutnet's transportation service? We'll come to you, wherever you are. Bye now. AKA Uber. But in 2005. Now, the real question is at the transportation desk, which is this desk. Hey, bellboy, what's this balloon doing here? We just went over there. Oh, hey there, boss. <laughs> that balloon belongs to the transportation service. <laughs> the transportation service? Zach, we haven't seen a single taxi since we got to this town, have we? Well, of course not. You won't find a single limo or taxi driving around this town. You know, this is the first time someone's interrupted him mid-monologue. What does the balloon call, then? That'd be Wyvern. Wyvern? That pushy entrepreneur? <laughs> right on the money, boss. Why are you helping her out? Me? Oh, I'm just in it for the kickback, boss. <laughs> so calling her from here costs more than calling her from somewhere else? Exactamundo. Although there are certain places that you can only get to from here. I see. Zach, it looks like we've run into yet another unique rural custom. Rural? Rural. God bless it. So now that I'm more curious, where can I go exactly? Howdy, Yorkie. Uh. That's what I'll come on. Get so where else can I go? Thanks for calling. Why, Vern? Goodbye now. Okay, that didn't answer my question. The question was... Is there, okay, let me explain the real question is, can I go anywhere fancy yet? What? Oh, 
Okay, I'll why the? No, okay, so you can't just do it from that screen. You do it from this screen when she shows up again. Which to Thanks for calling. What? If anything, it's making you waste gas money. All right. So I guess the play would be we have to wait freaking 16 hours, basically, at this point, to... Move on in the game. So we're obviously going to do the smart thing here at 25 minutes and 40 seconds. Let's call it... Let's call it a night. Next time on Dairy Prediction 2, I'm out of save files. <laughs> We're gonna move on. And we'll do that eventually, too. I'll see you guys then.